I'm Atrel Nishar in Washington, where U.S. officials are closely tracking Russian President Vladimir Putin's decision to lower the threshold of what it would take for his country to use its nuclear weapons, a direct response to President Biden's decision to allow Ukraine to use American-supplied longer-range missiles on targets inside of Russia. Ukraine not wasting any time waiting to act on new permission from the U.S. to strike military targets inside of Russia with American-made, long-range guided missiles called ATACMS. On Tuesday, which marked 1,000 days of war, Russia's defense ministry said Ukraine fired six of these missiles at its Bryansk region, just north of Ukraine. Moscow says it intercepted five of them. Within hours, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky thanked members of European Parliament for their continued support. Thank you for it ensuring that not a single one of the thousand days of this terrible war became a day of betrayal of our shared European values. Some European nations are rattled by news that Russian President Vladimir Putin just eased the threshold his country would have to meet before using its nuclear weapons. In late September, Putin warned if a nation with nuclear weapons helps another nation strike Russia, it would be seen as a joint attack. NATO's Nordic countries taking steps to prepare citizens for a crisis. Finland updating its guidance for what to do during military conflict. Sweden distributing booklets titled In Case of Crisis or War. And Norway's guide includes instructions for stocking up on essentials and basic first aid. Back here in Washington, some lawmakers say the U.S. and its allies should not put much stock in what the Kremlin and Putin say publicly because Russia's goal is to intimidate. We have intelligence systems and networks that can understand the way that they are moving their troops around, that understand uh, their strategic nuclear weapons. We know how to assess the threat from Russia. What's difficult to assess is how or if President-elect Trump will continue support for Ukraine and follow through on this promise. I'll get the war with Ukraine and Russia ended. If I'm president-elect, I'll get it done before even becoming president. Some fear Trump will be okay with Russia taking some Ukrainian territory if it brings an end to the war. In Washington, I'm Atrel Nishar reporting.